You think we're going to beat all these games? Nope. Backlog Boys. No, probably not. Welcome back to Happy Dead People Under Logs and Rocks. <laughs> oh, hey, you washed up here too? Yeah, I've been here for about 49 years. It's a nice spot once you get used to it. It is a nice. Oh, oops, I did it again. All right, uh, Brittany. It's, it's, uh. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Britney Spears on the show today. Yes. The controls are a little bit different than I am used to. What is this one? It, fl- it flips X and circle w- when you play on PS2 versus this version. Yes. So here, we have to use all these different types of uh, items in the correct order. Not necessarily in the correct order. No? Nope. I thought you had to do it in the correct order. To, um, I think on gunshots you do. To like heal these wounds. You have to like pull the gun, the, the, bullet, the out, bullet out, and then stitch it, and yeah. So, as we're doing this, we're getting uh, oh, we're getting bone. health back, and it's gonna allow Snake to grow up to be a strong boy someday. Yes, and have lots of babies. See the lots red up there in the health babies. bar? It's like our injury. Yeah, it's, it's going, like it's going down. If you have an injury, it won't let you regain that red health. Yeah, it's like the maximum. Yeah, very clever. Um, bones and bones. And bones, broken and bone. bones, and all done. NBD, just a broken bone. Yeah, we'll fix that right up. You'll live with our home treatment. This part looks really fun. Oh yeah, this is this is you know just this bite, is this is camping in the backyard right here. Yep. Yeah. Call the family. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's got a lovely, lovely sound. <laughs> just bone. Oof cracking back into place yeah and how would you even really know it was in place you know like that'd be tough to know you'd have to be pretty sure now to splint it up yep yeah she broke his forearm yeah that's that would be horrible yeah that'd be painful I mean any broken bone I'm sure is horrendous I've never broken a bone luckily I've fractured fractured my Left and my left pinky and ring finger. Really? Yes. How'd that happen? Um, on a truck door. Ooh, yeah. I have had my hand shut in a car door before. You have. And I, I, on, I honestly don't know how I didn't get more hurt. Yeah. It must have been because I was a little kid and I was just like made of gelatin or something. Yeah. I was like 11 or 12. Okay. And my dad just, you know, bad timing, shut a door for me. Dude, look! Look to the left. Oh, oh you missed it. Is that where he is? I think if you look to the left there, up the river, you can see the sorrow. Some choppers. Where's Arnold? <laughs> nice. We've come to film Predator. It's gonna be a great movie. I don't know why I rolled that R. Arnold doesn't do that. Yeah, he doesn't do that. Um, my mistake. But you're so he slammed it on your hand. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh my god. And, like, there was, like, a line. Mm -hmm. But it must have just, like, happened so perfectly or something. Because it was just, like... Like, the door completely closed. Yeah. And we had to, like, open the door to get my hand out. But there was no, like, blood. There was no, like, broken skin at all. No no bones were hurt. It Mm -hmm. was amazing. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty incredible. Mine was not that case. <laughs> was it you who closed the door or someone else? I don't remember. It might have been me or my mom. Mm. But if it was my mom, I've long since forgiven her. <laughs> so were you younger? I was little, yeah. Okay. So where is this fleet of choppers headed? Back to base, I guess. There's Ocelot base. dwelling. On- dwelling on snakes... Uh, calling out of his gunplay yes what did and he tell he told him what did he tell him he told him that it was a revolver technique that he was using yes but I don't I don't understand what fancy. he was explaining to him like uh, he was saying how he could have been better because like he let his gun jam yeah or he risked he ran the risk of his gun jamming based yeah. on how, what he was trying to do I see but that would have never he I think he was saying that never would have happened on a revolver because there's no clip. And also a revolver has more recoil. So what he was doing is he was like holding it sideways and then shooting and then letting the recoil take him to the next guy. Oh, I see. So like he was saying he would get more out of that. It's more of a revolver, revolver technique. Yeah. Gotcha. Since he twists his arm. 
like he's out in the wild west. It's the girl. Man, Volgan has a beautiful visage. Yeah, he's nice. He's, really, he's got like a cauliflower ear on his cheek. Ooh, yeah. What is going on there? And he's got like Iron Man legs. Those, yeah, those boots are intense. Yeah. She's pretty. She is pretty. She's a nice. She's a nice Volgan catch. thinks so too, I guess. I'd use my master ball on her. Not so fast, my dear. <laughs> what she got? Lipstick of some kind. Oh, not quite. From looks like, looks Mr. Like a, Goldfinger. Looks like a bullet. See what I did there? Goldfinger. Oh it's yeah. The kiss of death. Kind of. From Mr. Goldfinger. It's in the song. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. In the Goldfinger song? Yeah. It's the kiss of death. From Mr. Goldfinger. <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. Because, yeah, he doesn't kiss. No, he doesn't. He touches. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy Oh, Jesus. That thing uh, looks no. mighty Can dangerous. He not. just wants to fire it. This guy oh. is insane. What? What does that mean? He, I think he's just insane. He's just like quoting things. What is he firing at? Oh, like a huge base? I think that's... Some, what is that? Some facility? Oh, it's the research facility. Oh, they're taking the Shagohod. Oh, he's firing it at where they took the Shagohod from? I think so, yeah. Wow. Well, so what was that in the parachute? Oh, that's our balloon that got dropped to us by Major. Oh, I see. In the crew. Ah, just a little explosion. Nothing to worry about. Uh, go about your business. Um, so he's using, he's using the boss's bandana as a sling. bad. Yes. It's the face of Ganon from Twilight Princess. Yes. <laughs> Which looks, which is a mushroom cloud, essentially. It kind of is, yeah. Hey, yeah, our first save. save. We'll do that. Yeah, we will do that. Checking hard disk drive. We'll save right over that one. Hard. Yeah, Vaughn was playing a little bit earlier. Just getting the feel for it. Yeah. While some other events were transpiring. Mm. Yes. You will find out about that. You'll, you'll find at out. At a later that. date. <laughs> some other time. It's coming, don't worry. Oh, hey, Konami presents. <laughs> Berlin Wall. Soviet yep. something. Time for a montage. Cuban missile. Cubaine. Fighting in Vietnam. Man, Man on, on the moon. moon. Oh, we're going all the way through the 60s here. East Germany. Whoa. This is like 100% a Bond intro. Yeah. With like the, Entirely. the smoke. Snake eater. It's a snake. It's a snake. Yep. Inside of it. More ribs We've been than anybody else. You know, we eat ribs from cows and... Pigs and lamb. Why don't they go for snake ribs? They got more ribs than anybody else. They do have a lot of ribs. All right. Probably harder to eat. Good thing I put my my phone on silent because it's ringing off the hook. James Bond is is calling, trying to get through. Yeah, trying to be the ninth caller <laughs> to win some concert tickets. He looks. That looked like Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 1. Yeah. That was weird. It, it looked like a clip from Twin Snakes. That other one, too, it looked like it wasn't from this game. Yeah. Perhaps it was from another game. Who knows? Here's the song, you guys. Not us. Still in a dream. Sing it. Yeah. Yeah? Sing it, Vaughn. I got you. I'll never forget that I, the time I oh. saw... Yeah, see, it's... That's uh, different graphics. Yeah. Is that what it looks like on the PS2? Is it from... No, because I always thought that part looked different, too, in yeah, this intro. Yeah, it looks like Solid Snake. It does. From MGS1. Yeah. It also just looks... It's very interesting. Really different than the game. Yeah. wonder if it was like a beta build or something. And they made Not this. Not for honor, but for you, Austin. And you, yeah. all the viewers. 
Volgan. I'll never forget the time I heard this song sung at MAGFest. Yeah. It was so weird. It was MAGFest 11. Yeah. So in t- in t- 2013. How'd it go? It, it, it didn't go over super well. Which is unfair because the lady who sang it sang it very well. Okay. It just was not the right the timing. timing and like it was so out of place in the rest of like the group's set of music. Okay. It was so strange. It was this group from Japan. Uh, what were they called? They were called the Something Orchestra, but they weren't an orchestra. It was um, Kojima. And it was a bunch of like anime looking dudes. Okay. Playing a bunch of, you know, video game music. And it was pretty cool. And then like, we want to bring out a very special guest to do a very special song. And then this blonde girl came out and just belted this song and they played it for like seven minutes. Whoa. After playing Whoa. a bunch at a, like the That's whole, the super long, like drawn out version or whatever. And it was right after all this like rock and exciting stuff. So it just totally killed the mood, mm-hmm. like right in the middle of the set. Oh, and one week later, it was on the boys. It was very odd. I think. Oh, sure. Uh, tomorrow on the show. Uh, I don't even know what's next. Some more stuff. But we're going to be sneaking and snaking. And we hope to see you there. And I don't think this cutscene is important. So <laughs> don't worry. We'll, we'll come back when there's more gameplay. Yeah.